I asked. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get used to not making up any statements because Andrew preferred not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a little I, bit of a hangover in the early innings from the Florida series? I expected one of you guys to probably say that, but uh, I'm not buying that. Um, the fact that you know we scuffled early was because of Hines. I don't know if, if you recognize it or not, but he has a big league breaking pitch. You know he um, that's very special. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hear his name a lot down the road. He he's got he's got something that's very special, and and he was a little bit wildly effective. He was hard to square up, and we expected that. Our scouting report was right on the money that you'll have a hard time scoring and getting hits, and that's what it was. And, and uh, Westmoreland wasn't particularly sharp, but uh, he stayed away from the big end, and they, they scratched in the first two. But you know you're still in the game at that point. You got a lot of a lot of innings left, but I don't, I don't, I don't buy into hangover or off the weekend or anything like that. You're playing a team that typically has been very, very good, and we played a lot of good games with them. They've been in the postseason many times, and you know you just got to got to battle, and that's what we did, and we're fortunate we were able to win. Right, Adam did stay out there until the fourth, but how, how did you judge his outing? How do you maybe look at him down the road? Do you see something improving in him? Well, I, I, um, I'm glad he stayed out there going into the fourth, uh, but, but it's not, it's not uh, I don't consider it a, a quality outing. I mean, it certainly wasn't a poor outing because we had a chance to, to come back and win. And, but he, he's better than that, and he's just uh, he's he's hit a little bit of a I guess like a slump, like a hitter will go through a slump. He's he's kind of struggled a little bit lately, and he's gonna fight his way out of it. You got the four runs to tie the game really quickly, and then it, do you think there was a, a kind of a feeling like okay, we we still need to to get ahead here? It felt like you were ahead even at four four, but how much did you need what Walker did? Well, Walker's Walker's ball in the corner was was huge for us. I mean that was a ball that barely got inside the line and, and Summonelli almost made a great play on that ball and it got us it got us right back in the thick of it. We needed we needed uh, something good at, you know we're in the middle of the game there. You need an opportunity to get the tying run to the plate or in the on deck circle and, and um, it, it all worked out for us. But uh, you know Walker he, he had some RBIs for us tonight in the big home run and uh, you know, we're, we're very fortunate. Ray, was there any chirping going on back and forth between the dugout and Jackie? It seemed like he was a little, uh, I guess, intense on some of his plate appearances. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think there was probably some chirping uh, toward the umpire on occasion, but uh, not. It wasn't dugout to dugout. I chirped a little bit at the umpire. And <clears throat> I'll admit that. Your bullpen came up. Big again and it's the scoreless innings and really held them right there so you guys could come back. Key. That was the key to the game. Um, the fact that, that we were able to hold them, keep them at bay, you know, with Mata and Taylor and, and uh, Matt, that uh, we had a chance to come back and, you know, make it a game or win the game. And, and they were outstanding once again. Taylor was special and you know, Matt got two strikeouts there. And, uh, the ninth inning, but Mata did a great job too. Three innings in there. You know, he came into a precarious situation and, and gave up a, a hit there, but we still had an opportunity. I know you'll, you'll go to this tomorrow too, but any update you can make on Forrest and what that means for this weekend? I don't know. I, I They said, uh, I guess he went into the hospital on Monday and they said that once he's out, he'll be fine. He'll be good to go. And you know, hadn't missed that many days of work. And when you get right down to it, he's only missed a couple of days of work. But I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, that's one thing that's, you know, they can tell you he'll be fine. He'll be ready to go. But uh, you know, maybe maybe he will, he will be sluggish. But, uh, you know, we plan to use him at some point this weekend. I'm not sure what his status will be. And um, we'll have to... We'll have to make a judgment on that. I, I would, I would guess now that we probably wouldn't think about him until Sunday, just because of the timing. But I can't, I can't be certain when I say that right now. But he, you know, fortunately, that can be a, a 
tough situation, and he seems to be doing well. We were at the hospital earlier today, and hopefully, you know, he he had an outside chance of getting out tonight, but more than likely tomorrow. So hopefully, he'll be fine and be back in uniform. And anything new on Stephen? No, just uh, looks like he's you know, continuing to be out, and just have to evaluate it day to day. <coughs> Adam, Adam uh, Matthews. Adam uh, felt good yesterday, um, not ready to run, not ready to play, but he feels like he made some quick progress. Um, but it's, it's a, you know, those hamstrings can bother you for a while, so I, I'm not sure I, I, would, I would think he'd probably be unavailable this weekend, but I don't know for sure. Anything else, guys? All right. I